Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for a word of encouragement. Uh, this has been, over the last uh, couple of months, uh, the, the uh, way that we have been walking through the E100 Bible reading plan together. And today, I just wanted to read uh, from the last uh, segment, from the last reading uh, for this uh, program, for this plan, and that is coming out of Revelation chapter 21. If you have kept up, if you had made it to the end, then the last reading is uh, uh, 21 and 22 of Revelation. But I want to read to you today what I believe to be the culmination and the climax, the goal of all reality and history uh, of all creation and what I believe to be the singular most encouraging passage of all of God's truth. And, and here it comes, uh, the first four verses of chapter 21 of Revelation, which read, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea no longer existed. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. And then I heard a loud voice from the throne, Look, God's dwelling is with humanity, and he will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will no longer exist. Grief, crying, and pain will exist no longer because the previous things have passed away. Throughout Scripture, this idea of, uh, of God will be with them and be their God and they shall be his people. We will be God's people, God's creation, God's uh, peculiar, set aside, special and sanctified people. Uh, and he will be our God and our, and our true and caring owner and authority. This concept is repeated throughout scripture. It's what was laid down in the very first chapters of the entire Bible. And here we find it in one of the last chapters of the Bible as what I believe to be the very goal of all existence, to come uh, unmediated with nothing between us, uh, face to face with our creator. Just that very phrase, look, God's dwelling is with humanity. He will live with them. Uh, that, that, even just that, that idea of with them is repeated uh, multiple times right there in that passage. Uh, I could give you no better word of encouragement than that throughout all of Scripture that God uh, desires to be and one day will be fully, completely, without reserve with us and we will be with him. Oh, I hope that that is encouraging to you today. Uh, I hope that it's also a, a, a bit frightening to you today as well, if you know anything of the holiness of God. Well, this does conclude uh, our E100 Bible reading plan uh, uh, um, strategy and walkthrough for Word of Encouragement. I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break from, uh, from providing these uh, encouraging videos, but I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you would like to see Word of Encouragement continue, and if you have any suggestions uh, uh, as to what it will be like when we come back, uh, then I would love to, to hear your suggestions. Leave a comment uh, right here, uh, whether it's in uh, YouTube, where I, I post these videos, or on our Facebook page. Uh, I'd love to hear uh, some of your opinions. Uh, let me know if this has been encouraging, if this would be something that you would want to follow if we continue going forward. Uh, and uh, let me know if you think that, hey, this has just run its course and this is a good time to stop. I I'm open. I'm pretty flexible uh, with this. I, I enjoy doing it because it it's a way for me to encourage myself with the word uh, of uh, encouragement from the scripture as well. Uh, but if you have taken particular strength and encouragement from this, let me know and let me know if this is something that you'd like to follow if we continue going forward. 
Well, I do hope uh, that all of these have been a word of encouragement to you, and I hope that coming along with the E100 Bible reading plan and hitting those 100 mountain peak verses and passages of Scripture uh, have been uh, strengthening and life-giving to you. And I hope that you will continue. Uh, as a matter of fact, in short order, after a, a short break, we will, as Open Door Baptist Church, uh, start the, the E100 Bible reading plan again and I hope that this time you will invite your friends and your family and your neighbor to come along with you. Get together for coffee, read the day's passage, and talk about it. See what God is teaching you and how he's shaping you uh, and encouraging you in these days.